Hello everyone, Procrastinating Turtle here. Recently, I took a rather long deep dive into all Pokedex entries for the current 905 Pokemon. Once Generation 9 Pokemon Scarlet and Violet are released, I will also go through all Pokedex entries for the Pokemon found in those games as well, and add any interesting entries to my research notes. For my first installment of my Pokedex deep dive series, today I wanted to cover the first five Pokemon I found out through their Pokedex entries that are used by the humans of the Pokemon world for something other than battling. These Pokemon are used in some form or another to make clothing. The first Pokemon is from Generation 1, with a national Pokedex number of 40 is Wigglytuff. While it was introduced in Generation 1, it isn't until Generation 2 where we hear about this Pokemon's fur. In these Pokedex entries, the fur is described as fine and fluffy. Apparently, this fur is liked so much that if two Wigglytuff snuggle together, they will not want to separate. And the humans that touch Wigglytuff's fur can't stop touching it either. In later Pokedex entries, we learn that Wigglytuff's fur is being equated to luxury. However, it isn't until Pokemon Sun that we find out humans have a certain use for their fur. According to Wigglytuff's Sun Pokedex entry, quote, it sheds its fine fur when the seasons change. The fur is gathered and spun into a luxurious larn, end quote. Disappointingly, none of its Pokedex entries tell us what this yarn is used for. However, we can probably assume it is used to make clothing and other such items, perhaps even bed sheets or pillow covers as we learn in Emerald that, quote, sleeping alongside a Wigglytuff is simply divine, end quote. Unfortunately, we may never find out exactly what is made with this yarn. The next Pokemon on this list is from Generation 1 as well. National Pokedex number of 147, Dratini. Many Pokedex entries speak of this Pokemon shedding its skin much like a snake does. However, one Pokedex entry speaks about how people have used this shed in a way other than proof of Dratini's existence. According, once again, to Pokemon Sun, which Dex entry states, Quote, boots made from the cast-off skin are a super luxury item, end quote. Unlike the first two, the third Pokemon on this list comes from Generation 2, National Pokedex number of 168, Ariados. Unsurprisingly, many of this spider-like Pokemon's dex entry speaks of Ariados' silk and how it is used to catch food. Once again, Pokemon Sun gives us the needed information for this video. This Pokedex entry states, quote, There are some areas where people use the string Ariados spins for their own weaving. The resulting cloth is popular for its strength, end quote. Even in our world, spider silk cloth is not unheard of. Although I am not sure of its strength when compared to Ariados' silk, according to an article I found in the 1700s, an attempt at spider silk clothing was made, and the items tore fairly quickly. Pokemon number 4 also comes from Generation 2, and it has a national Pokedex number of 179, Marie. This is probably the least surprising on this list since it is a sheep-like Pokemon, as well it is called the Wool Pokemon, and wool from sheep in our world is used in multitude of ways. As early as Pokemon Silver, we learned that Marie temporarily loses its fur for a week in the summer. However, it isn't made clear if the wool is shed naturally or if the humans of the Pokemon world shear Mareep as is done with sheep in our world in the spring. Once again, it isn't until Generation 7 do we find out how this wool is used in the Pokemon world. Unlike the previous Pokemon, Mareep was not in Pokemon Sun or Moon. It was, however, found in Pokemon Ultra Sun. Its Pokemon Ultra Sun Pokedex entry states that, quote, Clothing made from Mareep's fleece is easily charged with static electricity, so a special process is used on it, end quote. This makes sense due to Mareep being an electric type. As well as in Ruby and Sapphire, we learned that when the wool of this Pokemon rubs together, it builds a static charge, which can then cause a shock if touch. Yikes. The final Pokemon on this list is the only Pokemon from Generation 3, with a national Pokedex number of 268, Cascoon. We find out in Ruby that Cascoon's body is covered by a cocoon made with fine silk. However, it isn't until, or rather back in, Legends Arceus that humans of the Pokemon world have a use for this silk. The Pokedex entry says, quote, The silk coating its body is thin but sufficiently strong. Cascoon's silk has a luster and texture superior to that of Silcoon's, and clothes made using Cascoon's silk are regarded as top-notch, end quote. 
This makes sense as it seems that Cascoon's evolution duck stalks is based on a moth, and Silcoon's evolution beadfly is based on a butterfly. As in our world, clothing items are made from the cocoon of the silkworm, which is the larval stage of a species of moth, and not made from a butterfly species that I could find. As these were all the Pokemon from generations 1, 2, and 3 that the humans of the Pokemon world make clothes with, at least according to the Pokédex entries, are there any Pokemon not on this list that you expect it would be? Were there any Pokemon that were on this list that surprised you? Let me know down in the comment section below. Also, if you enjoyed this deep dive video, please click that like button, and if you would like to be notified when any future deep dive videos are released, hit that subscribe button as well as the notification bell below. See you next time!